Hello and welcome to the Inspiration Pop-Up on a wonderful Monday morning. Hello, Bridget, to South Africa. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm very fine. And you are overtaking the world today. You told me. <laughs> this is just, to, just to tell the people who are watching us, how does that feel, huh? If you start a day with that or a week with that. Yeah, I think it's just, you just, it, it sometimes you just gotta, you gotta, you gotta make an extra effort, you know, you have to make an extra effort and then you can kind of create what it is you want to create by putting in that extra effort, shifting your mindset. Wonderful. And my question to you is, have you ever had fear? Yes. Yes. I'm gen to be honest with you, I'm generally not somebody who does. I'm not a fearful person. I'm very open to taking risks, whether it is physically, whether it is financially, whether it is emotionally, whether it so I'm very open to taking risks. Um, so generally I don't have fear, but absolutely there have been times in my life where I have, yeah, fear is definitely something. And you know when fear kicks in because you're not moving forward, right? Yeah. Yeah. What, what was the fearful moment, the most fearful moment you had? Can you say that? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, for me, I was, I was in a, um, a franchise and um, I was, we were, I was business partners with somebody else. Um, and because I'd invested a lot of time and money into this business, I stayed on way longer way longer than I should have. I should have left probably within the first six months, but I didn't because I was like, well, is it me? Is it the time? Is it like, what is it? So yeah, fear is a real thing. And I've definitely now at 48, I've made my mission that I'm not going to ever, ever be in that again. I would rather risk everything, but I don't ever want to be in fear again. So if it doesn't work, get out. That's where I'm at at the moment. Mm -hmm. For you? Interesting. For me, hmm. Yeah, also I would say if it's health or financially um, that you that you feel really in a bad situation, that is where I feel fear. I'm also like in nature stuff or adventuring stuff. I'm not too fearful. I'm not a um, how do you say not a paraglider, but jumping out of a plane or stuff like that. I, it's, I'm not too interested in it's not that I have too much fear, but it's not that I really need that. But I think fear is also when when something is with family or friends. No? So when you really see that your existence is in danger, that's where I feel fear. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, actually where it does come up quite a bit, what I found from a coaching side is the need to please. You know, mm -hmm. I often well. find working with people who have the need to please, that's fear of actually telling the truth, right? And truth telling. And that's, that's quite a, that's, that's quite a big topic that I work with. I don't know if you find that, but that's quite a big topic I work with because people fear of, are they going to be liked? Are they going to be accepted? Are they going to get another job if they walk away from this one? I think fear as like, the reason this topic to me was so relevant because over the last week I'd spoken to so many people and they're talking about fear of living overseas, fear of getting out of a relationship, fear of starting a new job. And so it came up in, in this country, fear of, I'm, um, you know, I go um, in the mountains every day on my own, but I don't have any friends that do because mm. they all are fearful sure, around yeah. the crime. And they, it, they're right in saying that, but there's a lot of fear about safety here. So people don't mm. want to go in the mountains on their own. So fear can actually ruin your life, I believe. Yeah, and it's always when it, 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 your existence is in danger. Right? Also, if you if you are a people pleaser and we mm. are social people or social human beings, and if you are rejected, this is one of the most fears or uh, the biggest fears we have. No? Mm -hmm. So, and that's why we have so finally come to our <laughs> subject today. But this is the thing: how to overcome fear mm. if you feel it. What do you do? And from my coaching perspective, or the method I learned, it's always just accept first the fear and realize that it is the feeling. It is fear, and then how? Then realize how does it feel in your body, and that it can really move. Because normally fear is like you, like this. Ooh, I don't want to feel it. Mm. But when you when you allow it to flow or to yeah to go through your body and then see what kind of energy it is and also um, it it protects you. That's that's the other side of that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think that ties into me to reflection. I've got into a daily meditation practice over the last kind of month. I was in it and then I fell off the wagon and then I got back into it over the last month. And that for me, my morning meditation is that reflection time. Like I just, I spent a lot of time, especially over the last month, doing a lot of reflection. And I think there's a lot of power in reflection because even the things that have been really tough and the lessons you've learned, the toughest ones have been the best ones because it makes you that much wiser and see things that much clearer if you're willing to reflect on the stuff that you actually had to go through and the the, the fear you had to face. Yeah, and you, you really can do this with uh, with somebody because sometimes you don't see the steps. No? And sometimes you yeah. write it down or somebody like you or me is like uh, being with you and really asking the right questions. When do you have fear and what does it do to you and all that? Because sometimes we have like mirrors everywhere in our life mm. who, who reflect us here you have to look on this spot you have to look because it comes again and again yeah so that you don't have enough money and then you go in another relationship or in another job you have you don't have money enough uh, again so it comes mm. again and again uh, as long as you don't work on it right yeah and also i think a big thing with this is people fear failure whereas in the same way you you have to keep failing in order to actually get to success, whatever that means for you, but right. you have to have a lot of failures on the way. I mean, that that's part of it. You can't not, you know? So fear of failure is a big thing for a lot of people that I think holds them back from taking chances. Yeah, and that is really one of my things that I had a really big blockage into. I had such a fear to fail when I got out of the teacher job or took these sabbatical leaves and so that I don't can, can go back or that I want to get out because I want to do something else. But if this fails, what do I do? I am not recognized anymore. I can't go back to the teacher job. Nah, nah, nah. And now since I've also I've worked on it. I wouldn't say that I overcome mm. it all the time, but then so many other doors open that wouldn't have opened if you haven't risked it. Yeah. And so, yeah. But, and to yeah. be willing to, to work on it and not stay stuck because being stuck is just terrible. You know, and it, this mm. is not a good feeling. No? no. And this is also, I always like this example that we look back to our childhood and we, we never thought about, not learning how to walk. No? We just tried it when we were tiny and then we fall down and we got up again and then we fall down and we got up again. And now we walk and we don't think about it anymore. No? So I, for me, this is the best picture to think how fail, the failing is useful. No? And there's also a sentence, failing is not failing, it's making experiences. So if you don't fail, mm. you don't make experiences and you don't grow. So that's the thing. And Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, but it takes so, a while to really have a look into that, no? It does. And I think the beautiful thing is people say that they get tired of working on themselves. And my response to that is, but if you look at it another way, as in you've got the power, so it's all on you. So however you want to feel, however you want your life to be is on you. So it's not work. It's you making the choice to live the best life that you want to live. And that's on you. Yeah. And if you want, we are happy to help. We both Absolutely. are here. We, we got through that pain already and we, we do it every day again. But we know some techniques and what works and we love to do our work. And we are happy if you contact us. Yeah, Absolutely. see you next week, my dear. Have a great week. Bye. Bye.